Kia ora everyone, it's Om from Craft Lab NZ and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own hammock. Now it's no secret that I love hammocks. Hammocks are great for just putting up, grabbing a book, having a nap, even just exploring and hanging out in nature. So for today's hammock, all you need is a couple of pieces of rope. Hopefully they'll be strong enough to hold you, but we'll probably find out a bit later on. And you need a sheet. Preferably, you need a sheet that's maybe a single size sheet, but I've got a double here, so I might need to fold it in half. I'm gonna bunch that up like so, and we're gonna do a very special knot called a sheet bead. If you check out my Craft Lab NZ app, which is available right now on the Play Store, you'll see we've got some awesome knot tutorials. So an awesome knot that I'm gonna show you right now is a sheet bend. So what happens here is you need to get your end of your sheet and we're gonna bend it over. So you can see I've got it and I'm bending it and closing it down like so. And then I'm gonna use my little piece of rope to go through here. Oh, there's my finger. So I'm gonna come through here like so. And I'm gonna come around and then wherever that little rope is, I'm going to go over the top like so. Just like that. And then I'm going to pull it nice and tight. So this sheet bend is a great knot for joining two different size pieces of material or rope together. So I've got one here, and I'm going to do the same to the other end. So let's Okay, so I've got my sheet bend the other side as well now, so both sides have got my sheet bends on them. One thing I do is I probably will just tie a couple of little overhands in the end of each of these, just to be sure our sheet bend doesn't come undone. So, two sheet bends, the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to do an awesome knot called a clove hitch. I could do a bowline, but I really like something called a clove hitch. If you don't know what a clove hitch is, definitely go and check it out on our app, eh? So, one end is going to drive up. Over here. That I've got my awesome hammock set up. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so now's time to test the hammock. Let's give it a go. Anytime I get into a hammock, I always Hold it up and sit on my bum first just to test that it's going to hold. On well, this one's feeling pretty good. Then at that point there, I can just put my hammock up, put my feet up, and maybe have a little nap. What an awesome hammock. So, I'm on from Craft Lab NZ, and this is how to make your very own DIY hammock at home. So we hope you have a great time hanging in nature. I'm <laughs>